Mm -hmm. Hello all you Martians out there. It's your turn fixed foot soul with a bit of that old world flavor. You're tuned to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Breathe easy, kick back, and reminisce. Take my hand, explaining me. This project has to be Don't let go while hopes us arrive. There will be no surprise, all I know is that we shouldn't be sad when we think of the wrong. Nostalgia from Mars. Wow, what a way to start the show. Anna Chichin with Take My Hand, her sublime take on our wonderful project called Humanity. Beautiful. 
plenty more to come in to Soul Show, a show packed with stories and music to remind ourselves of where we are and how far we've come. Our first caller for the show calls it like it is and was a hard-hitting look back at the last days on Earth from the perspective of a shrewd businessman and loving father. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama, I worked in oil, brokering gasoline to be exact. It's a strange business, but probably not like you would actually imagine it to be. My day started something like this. I check Reuters and my sheets. See if there's been a change in the fundamentals. See if the spread's up or down. And then when the clock strikes go, I'm on the phone. I could be calling some commercial shop in Bumble, Kansas, where little old Sue loves to know how my daughter's doing. Or I could be trying to get into the head of a powerful Russian who knows the world wants his phone number. That's when the psychology kicks in, and I go to work. If they pick up the phone, they're mine. That's the game. I started when I was uh, 29, 30. <laughs> my boss. My boss was a coked up, permatanned moron who was wasted by lunch. More money than sense. Screaming at waiters, because, uh, you don't drink gin out of a glass like that. And Caesar salad is supposed to have eight pieces, eight pieces of chicken, you stunted fool. Stunted fool was his favorite insult. It's coming from a guy who was five foot nothing. That was pretty much my life, 24-7. I traveled a lot, meeting clients all over the world. The Amazon, the Gulf. Siberia, Central Asia, the States, Singapore, everywhere. Looking back, I can't claim that I ever would recommend that life, nor can I claim that I was ever really happy doing it. But it was fun. I mean, talk about your share of moments. There was this one girl, some strange mix of Algiers and Paris, with some sprinkle of Havana, a dancer, naturally. So turn a priest's head or give a nun a Sometimes I wonder what happened to her. But we all had the same feeling. This can't last. And sure enough, we were right. First you couldn't drink the water. Then you couldn't eat the crops. And pretty soon we wouldn't be able to breathe in there. I remember looking at Emmy and wondering what kind of a future would she have. So I decided to do something about it. The Mars project was plan B for planet Earth, which was most evidently f The family and I had already put down roots in Tesla City by the time the great catastrophe really hit. The corporation knew my contacts in the world of drilling and refining would be useful. So I adapted my skills to something more practical. Now we are all that keeps this little planet running. Mining those Martian chemicals for the battery banks. Martian cement for the buildings. My pure little Emma has a future. When somebody sits down and writes this all up for the history books, it might just be men like me they'll be hailing as heroes. It's men like me who saved humanity. Men like me who took us further than we ever dreamt possible. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Oh, some pretty heavy stuff. Reminds us that all kinds made it up here to Mars, but we're all in it together now. And remain the creatures of the world. You're tight beam to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Music for the lost days of Earth. Thank you. 
Guys, house musing on the games we play. Just a reminder that until further notice, there is a moratorium on all team leaders playing card and board games with their teams, following an incident over a game of Monopoly in Section C. All senior Section team leaders will convene for emergency counselling and anger management courses. Until then, there will be no intersectional board game tournaments and no games with groups larger than four people at a time per team. In the interim, teams are encouraged to take advantage of the half ration special on Omas, the delicious and relaxing drink that takes the edge off of everything. Our next caller, Yamil, takes us into her world of food, smells, sensuality, blue skies, and sings us a personal song to remember. Histoire, mémoire, le bon vieux temps, source originale. Fable authentique, espoir, inspiration, drame, musique, radio nostalgie de Mars. I have nightmares. I'm happy to be alive, but I knew many who deserved to live more than I did. But this is a radio program about nostalgia not guilt. I've been nostalgic since I was 20, when I left Havana. In Europe, I felt different. Each country has a smell. Mars doesn't. Where I come from, the smell of the ocean, mango, bananas, coconut, mama's food, ropa vieja, de la abuelita, El con gris, la yuca con mojito, the most beautiful sun of Malecón, the smell of my street when the rain falls, all of that make me into the person I am. So when I left, I grew stronger. I experienced the world, but forever stayed incomplete. So now I'm double nostalgic. We were full of life, 
laughing on warm nights under blue sky, touching each other. The air filled with the smell of sweat from dancing with a orchestra Aragon playing from an apartment. Now, the only way I can feel this scent is by singing. Como fue? No sé decirte Como fue? No sé explicarme qué pasó Pero de ti me enamoré Fue una luz que iluminó todo mi ser Tu risa como manantial Lleno mi vida de inquietud Fueron tus ojos o oh, tu boca Fueron tus manos o oh, tu voz Fue a lo mejor la impaciencia De tanto esperar Tu llegada más no sé no sé decirte cómo fue, no sé explicarme qué pasó, pero de ti me enamoré. Slušajte Radio Nostalgiju sa Marsa. Thank you, Yamio. What a wonderful story. Reminds us that life is about so much more than just base survival. Well, living in space has always been challenging. And here's a song that pokes a little fun at living in cramped quarters. Needs no introduction. Argue all you want. It's a classic. Take a moment. Relax. And remember, with Radio Nostalgia from Mars. A Russian and an American work together in space A very different sight from the Cold War arms race Whether Kubrick or Tarkovsky, Solaris or 2001 Melville or Dostoyevsky, the same in the orchard climbed on the Jurassic Mars Argued about art, values and international relations to astronauts Stalin and your talent to suffer on the Zars, my friend. Your history is long. You also inflicted scars. Two astronauts argued about art. That is an international relations. Two astronauts argued. They speak in two tongues. Sit still for hours. Stay tall The same oxygen in their lungs The same trail on their space wall Search, my friend, with hope on a night 
on a mission for Muzika iz starih dobrih dana. Radio Nostalgija sa Marsom. Ana Čočende and arguably the first interplanetary hit, Two Astronauts, an anthem to the great evacuation, and certainly one of our most popular requests. Speaking of requests, please follow habitat protocols for sanitation. No liquids other than bodily in the main bin, including pee. Some of you don't like it. But all water is recycled, so pee into the funnel and store next to your toilet, please. Speaking of pee and poop, we recently welcomed our first official little Martian to the colony, and our next caller, Sophia, tells us what it's like to be a new mother on Mars. <laughs> I'm so happy we moved to Mars. It was a project I funded from the very beginning. I knew it had potential and I trusted the amazing team working on it. As angel investors, my husband and I got early placements in the Ark ship. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to further human survival in our solar system. Speaking of the human project, I have some exciting news. Just a week ago, we welcomed our baby boy into the world. Words cannot express how overjoyed we are at welcoming little Maxim. Putting him to bed reminds me of my parents. From our window here in Tesla City, we can see the earth, tiny enough to fit in Maxim's hand. It pains me that my child might never experience the beauty of my home in the Hamptons. The nature, coastline, the old lighthouse, and the food, the houses of our friends, our evening parties, full of life compared to this barren drug terrain. I send my little Martian to sleep with a lullaby my mother sang for me. Thanks to these songs, I'm able to retain at least on a rudimentary level my mother tongue. She sang like this. Shushti, shushti, pambusolis, poret moka prozora. Noć se ti ospušta na gra, sa nebeski Thank you, Sofia, for that uplifting news and beautiful song. Life will always find a way. Just as precious as a new life is the water that sustains it. You may have noticed that it doesn't rain here on Mars, so another friendly reminder that showers are strictly limited to 30 seconds each, with no exceptions. Corporate is looking into extending this time frame, but is meeting resistance from Section BC who want lab rat urine to be excluded from the water recycling program. 
which would actually reduce allocated shower times to 27 seconds. Want to say in this? Join our sectional weekly meetings and vote while sipping on a relaxing tube of OMAS. Feels good? As it should. Radio Nostalgia from Mars. quickly. 